Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here to do a budget with me video. And if this is something that you are interested in, as far as like being in the cash envelope stuffing community, then you know you would want to subscribe to my channel. You would want to like this video and comment some things that you may struggle with or some things that you are proud of and progressing with when it comes to cash envelope stuffing. If this is something that you are interested in, keep watching. All right, guys, so we're here with a budget with me video. As you can see, I have my budget right here. I have my calculator. Now this is all wrong, all wrong. So we're gonna have to redo this because I budgeted this for 980 to bring home. And really, I just looked, it's in my account pending and it is $938. So what we're going to do is rewrite this. All right, so what I told you, <laughs> these numbers are on here are wrong. So what we are bringing home, this is the month of May. And we're bringing $938. Now, Navient or Navient, however you pronounce it, is $82.14. My city of Atlanta bill, these are my bills, $29.25. Natural gas is $97.57. Georgia Power is 103. And I have a loan through Alley because um, we went without AC and heat for two years. It was a struggle. And we broke down and got it. So those are all my bills. My cash envelopes. Did I forget to put groceries on here? Yes. Did. So let's get our marker. It's all right. We can put it right here. Groceries is getting 120. That gets 120 every week. Um, I'm not doing anything for fast food. Do we need it? No. Gas gets 50. Um, I put a question mark right there because. I don't know what it is, but with these gas prices going up and down, up and down, $50 sometimes do me good, and then $50 sometimes it's like, <laughs> beach what? So next week, I always do $120, and that's just for gas and money in my pocket for the next week. Um, household is getting 20 because we do need some things in the household. My subscriptions is always $64.93. In my pocket, I'm going to put $70. Um, grass is always $50. And I try to do that every pay period because it usually takes two weeks for it to grow back. My savings challenge, I want to put $50, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to swing it. So I'm going to put 25 to 50. And I know I'm not gonna have any $5 left. We'll come back to a dollar because I do have some money in my wallet, but I don't know how much. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get our calculator. We're gonna add all of these up. So you have 82, 14, plus 29.25 plus 97.57 plus 103 plus 50 equals 361.96. And really this ally is $100 we pay a month. Really it's only 87 a month. But me and my sister split this, so we just both give $50 a piece to make it 100 so we can pay it off quicker. Okay, now let's add all of our cash envelopes up. Excuse me. Okay, 50 plus 120 
plus 20 plus 64.93 plus 70 plus 50. Actually, I'm gonna start over with this. My subscriptions and grass, I'm going to leave that in the bank with my bills. So then it'll just pull out whenever it's due or I can just pull it out whenever it's due as well. So I'm gonna start over and we're gonna do 50 for gas plus 120 for the next week, 20 for household, 70 for my pocket. Mm, let's do 25 at first. 25 for savings challenge plus 120 for groceries. So that first total is 405. Now if we do $50, then it would be 430. Because I would just add another 25 equals 430. Okay, so let's see how that plays out. And see how much money we would have for now wait, before I do that, let's add all of these up so I know how much money I have for my sinking fund. So, oh, now this is 405 plus um, 64.93 plus the $50. That's five nineteen ninety three, and we're gonna circle that. And this we're gonna say plus twenty five, and this is plus fifty. And we'll put it. savings challenge. Okay, so. If I did this <laughs> correctly, you would add 519.93 plus 361.96 equals 881.93. I'm bringing home $938. So $938 minus $881.89 equals $56.11. Not really much, but hey, you make the best with what's due. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's see. I do want to start saving, saving more. So we're gonna do 30. If I did plus 50, I would just add a plus 25 to this, and that would be 544.93, which that wouldn't give us a lot for our sinking funds. So what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna put 25 here for my savings challenge. Cause this savings challenge that I'm trying to do is I'm actually working on a kid's album. And I'm supposed to be saving $200 by June 1st, July 1st. Yeah, July 1st, which I should be able to do. So yeah, I'm gonna add uh, 25. And so we have 5611. So let's put 5611 for our sinking funds. So we're gonna go minus 30 for say Christmas is gonna get 10. Card emergency, all of these nothing. Vacay, parents. Nothing right now. Mike, I'm sorry, nothing. Gifts, I want to put five. 
I have 11, 11 left. My beauty is looking okay. My drip is looking okay. I want to add five to birthdays. Cause there is a birthday coming up. My boyfriend's and my sister. So I want to have those. Holidays, we have $11 left. Family time is not going to get anything. Let's do, hmm, this is, okay. Five and five, so minus 10. We got a dollar and 11 cents. So that dollar, we ain't gonna count that 11 cent. Put one dollar in savings challenge. Okay, so now what we do is add up what we're taking out in our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. Put that amount right here and then we figure out the denomination. So, 5, 19.93, oh, minus 64.93, minus 50, because I don't want to take my subscriptions out and I don't want to take my cut grass money out, because I've cash at that to him. So, we have 405 plus... This was 5611, so 56, 461. So that's how much we'll be putting, well, we'll be taking out of the bank to cash stuff. Now let's look at denominations. Gas, $50. So we're gonna just do 150. Next week is 120 but I want that to be broke down. I know I at least want a 50 for gas. And then 120 minus 50 is 70. Right, duh. So I would need a 50 and a 20. So a 50 and a 20. Then household is 20, so I need another 20. Pocket for this week is 70. So I need another 50 and another 20. Then I'm putting 25 in my savings challenge. So I need a 20 and I need a five. And then groceries is 120. So I need a hundred dollar bill and I need a 20. Okay, then my seeking funds, I need 30. So I'm going to do 10, 20, 30. Christmas, I need another 10. Gifts is a five. Birthdays is a five. Holidays is a five. Date night is a five. And then I need a dollar. Okay. And I told myself I was supposed to do that part in pencil because I always mess up, always. Never fails. But since I'm doing it now on camera, <laughs> let's see if I did this right. So this would be one dollar this would be five ten fifteen twenty twenty five this would be ten twenty thirty forty this would be twenty forty sixty eighty a hundred this would be fifty one hundred fifty two hundred and this would be one hundred now if we add all of these denominations up it should come out to four hundred and sixty one dollars and if I did this right the first time, I'm gonna need y'all to give me a hand clap, a thumbs up, same. So you have 100 plus 200 
plus 100 plus 40 plus 25 plus 1. See? You see what I'm saying? Houseway. Five. Let's do my sinking funds first. We have $30 here. So I'm going to do tens. 10, 20, 30. You have a 10 for Christmas. 10. A five for gifts. A five for birthdays. A five for holidays. Actually, let's add all of these up and see, am I getting the right number? Because I should have 56, right? 30 plus 10 plus five plus five plus five plus five plus one equals. That's the problem. How in the world, Sway? 56 minus 30 equals 26. Minus 10 equals 16. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's the problem. Okay, your girl don't know how to count. So we're gonna take, let's not use that. Let's take five out of gift. So, you have 5, 10, 15. Minus 15 equals 1, and then put that dollar in the savings challenge. Cool. So now, that means I did 10, 20, 30. I did 10. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. And then a 1 for my savings challenge. Then 50 for gas. Next week was going to be 120, so I said a 50, a 50, which is 100, and then a 20. Then I said a 20 for household, 70 for my pocket, which is a 50 and a 20. Savings, I was going to do 25, so you do 20, and then you do 5, which means... The total, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 50, 1, 52, and then 100. Now we do 100 plus 200 plus 80 plus 40 plus 20 plus 1 equals 441. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to have 461. What am I missing, people? Please, please, please comment. Now I'm missing a whole $20. Comment in. Oh, wait. Comment down below and let me know what I'm missing. What is going on, friends? Okay, I'm going to come back after I get this together, and then I'll tell you what I'm doing wrong. Okay guys, so I figured out what I was doing. I guess I was forgetting that this groceries right here was 120 because usually on my list, groceries is up here. So, if we break it down and we get everything together, this cash envelopes is $519.93. You subtract the subscriptions because I'm leaving that in the bank and you subtract the grass cut because I'm leaving that in the bank that gives you 405 we have $56 down here that we can play with so you add 56 that equals 461 which is how much that we're taking out of the bank now go through all of our dividends and we figure out what denominations we have you have one dollar bill four five dollar bills four ten dollar bills five twenty dollar bills four fifty dollar bills and one one hundred dollar bill and if you add all of these up one hundred plus two hundred 
plus 100 plus 40 plus 20 plus 1 equals 461. Now, if we did this correctly, which I know we did because I did it off camera, <laughs> you have your 519, 93 plus 361, 96 for our bills. And then if you add our $56, you have 937.89 and we're getting $938. So that is everything. I will be taking the 461 out of the bank and that is what we will be cash stuffing in a video to come. Not gonna say it's gonna be our next video because our next video, I have a surprise for you guys. I'm so excited um, to be starting this cash budgeting journey. Um, I, when I tell you I watch so many freaking cash envelope stuffings I just, you know, found this and it's very calming to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, stick with your girl. Hopefully I get some second, third income coming in. That's what I'm really, you know, working towards. I want to finish my book. I want to uh, finish my kids album. Hopefully that will be out before, you no, know, by December 1st. And, um, Maybe start making some stuff to, you know, start me an Etsy or maybe just, you know, promote my stuff on Instagram and sell it like that. Who knows? Um, I'm excited about this journey, though. And if you really liked what you saw in this video with all the mistakes and everything, oh my gosh, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next one. Peace.